Okay, <laughs> you ready to start? <laughs> Hi and welcome to Little Hatchlings Art Lessons. I'm Sarah Hatch, I'm an artist and a mom of five kids. And with my four-year-old, we are gonna be drawing... Kitty Fairy. Kitty Fairy. <laughs> What's Kitty Fairy from? Gabby Dollhouse. Gabby Dollhouse on Netflix, huh? We love, <laughs> we love Gabby Dollhouse. <laughs> she has curly hair like you, huh? Gabby does. <laughs> but Kitty Fairy has wings. Are you ready to get drawing? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Almost got the lid off. Try again. <laughs> I know, I'm gonna draw. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna draw two oval-shaped eyes that have highlights that are circular-shaped inside. So here's the first oval, and try to keep the circle near the top, huh? That's inside of it. And then the other oval is kind of far apart from it. It's over here. Those are good eyes, sweetie. Wow, I'm impressed. What about the nose? All right, that's next. The nose is just a little kind of boxy circle. Right there. You say the bucky so. Okay. And then a little line. And then two upside down rainbows. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I want to do some whiskers. Um, she doesn't have whiskers. She has eyelashes. So, But first, let's show that her mouth is open. Do you see that? So you just do a rainbow right there. Cute. And now she has... The way that we do her eyelashes are just two lines. One there. Mama, I did four lines. Oh, really? Okay. And now. Four. Four. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you did three and three, which makes six. All right, so let's do this side of her face right here. And then you stop. And then you go over here, and it's a little wider on this side because she's kind of turned. And then you stop. Perfect. And then we're going to make two ears. And they're not pointy ears. They're kind of curvy triangle ears. Like the ear? Kind of. And then there's a little triangle on the inside, too. And then you're, you're going to want to draw some flowers right here. So the flowers are four petals and one circle on the middle. And we're gonna draw three. So much things on. But that's too much. It's not too much. And this flower overlaps that flower. And then there's some leaves in here. So I'm just drawing some leaves. Mom, look at my oh, leaves. It's so pretty. It's a yeah, and then this ear comes up from behind here. <laughs> Mama, look, I already did it. Oh my goodness, you're ahead of me. All right, I'm just going to connect this up. And then I'm going to draw I a little triangle. Yeah. And then does she have some antennas coming out of her head? Yeah. Yeah, so mm -hmm. a line here. And an oval on the top, and then another curver, curvier line here, and more of a circle. These are her dirty back there. Yeah. All right, so we're done with her face now. So now we need to draw her body. You did so good on her face. Okay, so here's an arm. You just go below that eye, and you draw a little arm right here. And then let's draw a flower real quick. Just a little flower right here that goes on her outfit. And then a line up for her neck. And then another little arm back here. Good job. It looks like a puppy. No, it doesn't. And now we're going to do some little scallop edges for the bottom of her dress, and then it curves in. 
And then her and leg. Then, well, no, not her legs yet. Wait. Now a skirt. I did her, did her skirt. Well, no, that was the shirt. And then there's the skirt. Do you see the skirt? Can you draw a skirt right here? That's good. All right, so now we're going to draw two little legs. Just kind of easy at legs, just like that, yep. And then her tail comes up and over and then stop. And then you go next to it and go up and over and stop. And then you just finish it off. And then we're going to draw this cool little leg. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's her, it's her, I don't know what I'm it. It's either a mm. tulip flower or it's, a tulip it's like a, flower. or like a lion tail. I'm not sure which one. I think it's a lion tail. A lion tail. And a tulip tail. That's so cool. All right, and now we just need to draw one wing because that's all that shows. So we draw a little rainbow shape right there. Oh my goodness, you're allergic to something. So draw a little rainbow right there. I'm allergic to cats. <laughs> I hope not. You love cats. Okay, so draw a little rainbow right there. And then another littler one right next to it that comes down. Well, that's big. Yeah. And then this goes behind her tail. And then it comes back over. Mm -hmm. And then it's done. Okay, so can you go right here and can then back up? Can you do some polka dots? So you go from here, down to here, and then over to here, and back up. Mm. So it makes a curve. Mm. And all the way to the tail. Good job. Awesome. And that is all we have to do. And now we can color. Okay. No, don't do that. <laughs> So one thing I need to teach you guys, leave a circle around her eyes. Why? Because that's how the artists do it on the show. They leave a circle around the eyes, but they don't have a black line. They just leave the color ending there. So you can color, but leave the circle there, okay? Perfect. All right, so with the darker pink, I'm gonna come into the ears. Why do you not want to color? Okay, now do the rest of her face that light pink, okay? Can you do all the rest of it light pink? Just not inside your circles that you just made. Perfect. Why? Because. Um, and then you want some like darker pink for her blush. Not the nose. And for her nose, yeah, you're right. Can I add that darker blush? Oh, when you're done with your light pink, we'll switch. I not want I'm, I'm... <laughs> Hold on, just one second. I'm just gonna finish doing <laughs> her cheeks. Her cheeks. Alright, so then with this lighter pink. We're gonna go through and color her face. <laughs> You're gonna steal it back from me. <laughs> okay, so the darker pink also goes along here, along the bottom part of her arm, and her neck, and the bottom part of this arm, and the bottom part of the legs. And that gives it some depth. And then it goes along the bottom part of the tail. Um, and at the I did inside it. Oh, it's fine. Just do your best. Just have fun. Oh, I need to touch you through her nose. <laughs> you need to sharpen it. And there's a little bit of pink. Oh, there's a big. Yeah, I sharpened it. There's a little bit of pink oh, in her wing. Man. But only along here. This was not sharpened. Too sharpened? Sorry. Okay, so while she's using the lighter pink, I'll also show that there's some light purple in her wing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was a close one. All right, try to gently fill in the rest of this. 
gently coloring helps it look really good. So there's some purple on here. And for her shirt. Mm -hmm. Mostly just for her shirt. So see how I'm gently coloring right here? I don't want to push too hard. Because it helps it look better if you don't push too hard. Mm -hmm. I don't like to do it that way. You'll learn as you get older. Oh, that's a good green. Now, do you want some purple for her wing? Right there? Her wing is purple and green. I'm going to do it the whole way. Okay. Not her tail. Her okay. tail is Her tail pink. is pink, that's right. I'm tired. Wait, that blue thing is her magic. Like the magic coming out of the tail. Go and just do it in time lapse now? Yeah. Okay. All right, I'm just gonna go over a few things real quick. My daughter wanted to be done. And so I'm just gonna show you guys how you can color Kitty Fairy like this. So you wanna put some, like we have, I have three different shades of green here. I'm using Prismacolors and I've got olive green for the darkest shade. This is that pale green that's right here. And then this is more of a, it's kind of a weird green, it's, it's more right here. And combining those three gives the good effect that you want and um, gives it some depth. Like I used this dark green to give some little streaks in, in her skirt and also some shadow right there. And the shadow on her wing, you can do some like cool swirl patterns in there to make it look like a fairy wing. And then you can also use the different colors of green in your leaves up here, and that helps. I used yellow in the center of the flowers and then just lightly had the yellow go out because it's kind of just like a, a pale colored flower. Um, right here is supposed to be a little bit like more saturated with the pink and then get lighter as you go out. And add in some like fun colors into your wing if you want and that's how you can color kitty fairy and then afterwards sometimes you'll notice with colored pencils that after you've colored over your sharpie that you'll want to go back over it because like the lighter colors over the dark sharpie mutes the color a little bit and so you can go back over it and re-outline like for these eyelashes and the nose And the mouth and you can do it over the wherever else it needs it but that's where mine needs it the most oh and just like be patient with yourself and and maybe step back a little I just stepped back and I noticed that this needed to be a little more saturated so I'm just lightly going over it again layering my color pencil on there instead of like drawing hard like this if you hold your pencil back a little bit more and just lightly go over it, that's the best way to get a good, even coloring job. And just slowly lessen your pressure as you go out. Well, thank you so much for drawing with us. We hope you- I am I, I'm done, yeah. I'm impressed with your kitty fairy. I would love to see how your kitty fairy turned out. Tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Can Studio. Can I see it? What? Can I see the, it? You want to see theirs? Yeah. Can you tell them that? Can I see it? Sit up here so they can see you. Can I see it? She wants to see your pictures. So if you draw Kitty Fairy, tag me at Sarah Hatch Art Studio on Instagram, <laughs> and then I'll show them to her so she can see your pictures too. All right. Um, <laughs> we're squishy, squishy.
Thank you, baby. <laughs> Okay. Well, thanks for drawing with us, and we will see you next time. Bye!